But every time I close my eyes, I see her. In that horrible bed, we're visiting the hospital later today. When we arrived, Gran was asleep. Her skin looked so thin, almost see-through, like tissue paper. She was Gran-shaped, but empty. I mean, that's silly, right, Journal? It's just Gran. But somehow it isn't. It's not her! She woke up after a few minutes, but it didn't seem like she knew who we were. Why? Why is this happening? Why her? It isn't fair! Why, Journal? Gran still can't speak properly. Like what she wants to eat? Or how she feels? And what's worse, everyone pretends they're having a real conversation with her, but they're not! You're doing fine, Barbara, the doctor said to her. You just need some time. Hospitals should make you better! She's so ill now! I want her better now! Just wait. Time is a healer. I thought that was his job! I wish I could help her. It makes me so mad! Nurse said it was dinner. Mum had ordered Gran soup and a jacket potato. But when Gran tried to eat by herself, she kept dropping her cutlery. Then I noticed Mum had ordered her mushroom soup. Mushroom! Gran calls them nature's bogeys. I reminded Ma about the mushrooms. She got that look and banged the spoon against the bowl. There was lip passing, but 
looking at Gran, I had to help her. I still had some loose change. So I ran, down to the entrance hall, where I'd seen a vending machine on the way in. Egg sandwich! Hurrying back to 305, I couldn't help but grin. They didn't let me back in! Adult talk. Wait outside. That's what they said. So I waited on a bench until Mum came out the room. She said nothing. Just took me to the car. We didn't speak a single word. Not at the car park. Not during our drive home. Dad had made pies for tea. I just wasn't hungry. Dad said I needed to eat. Gran wasn't going to eat? Neither would I. He sent me to my room. I slammed the door really loudly and flumped onto my bed. I still had the egg sandwich. It was all mushed up. Everything is all mushed up. spell slowed her fall. Down and down she went, tumbling, helpless. Then and there, Robin started to... cry, but the darkness didn't care. As Robin hurtled through the darkness, her helplessness no longer made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated, angry. She wanted answers. <laughs> 